Hello Diamonds and welcome to Echo B Season 4. So we nicely start with this interesting hut. I think it looks a bit better than the last season. And we have this fantastic vending machine here. I mean, I don't seem to have any access to it yet. So hopefully the access will be granted later on. But we do have our coins already. I might need to check with Mars, who's kind of getting things ready. But we need the access to it as well. But yeah, so literally we can start using those machines somehow. I think all of them are no access yet. But yeah, it's kind of nice. I kind of like the look of it all. So it's the same look from both sides. And yeah, all, all machines are inaccessible, unfortunately, so I so have to see. But yeah, anyway, before we even get that far, we should go and select our plots. Because my plan was initially to get started in this corner. This is nicely connected to the bigger hill, so hopefully some copper and gold. And also the iron on the beach side or the desert area. So... I thought it's kind of good starting place and across the uh, small water area we, we have some coal and stuff like that so so let's quickly run all the way there and kind of get started with everything and yeah I hope that by the time we have already settled we can also access all the stuff so I will definitely come back to grab all the necessary tools because we got 26 coins which is a lot of stuff so we can take what's axe pickaxe maybe shovel and even uh, hammer so all four main tools and a lot of whetstones yeah definitely nothing to really worry about for the rest of the season very quick good starts and of course our skills for this season as well so we will definitely get started with oh, hello they're slowly blocking my way so we will get start with uh, started with mining and after that we will uh, hopefully get very quickly into basic engineering and yeah of course because well last season we found out that we can easily raise the water level I will need to get started a little bit higher so yeah I will kind of put my building right here of course the laws are nicely set up which is good and the first thing we do is well change the name we should do the colors immediately as well. I use this color all the time. And then color is white. So this is kind of how I always do it. So a little bit more colorful. And yeah, so we can get started with, well, I don't think we need the clay, but we definitely have sandstone, limestone, so all the necessary things here. And if we quickly go up here, we have some granite. So definitely good source for extra sand, even though we have plenty down there. So I think it's really good start starting location. Plus we have a few trees up there as well. So I will quickly go and uh, try to get the necessary tools and then I will I'll start making the base for us. I just got into the vending machine and I'm really considering what to take. This, they also have the nice storage stuff, which is really good to have. But I know that they're not like super big now 
we got a little bit nerfed. But still, it's kind of good. And yeah, definitely we get less Steel Western than last season. Let me see. It has 25 slots. Quite good. So, what can we have? Well, we definitely need the pickaxe. Bacon. Interesting. Ah, yeah, we got automatically two redstones as well. That's lovely. I like it. I don't think I will take any the trails because I will go blind. And we definitely should take the axe because it's always good to have such thing. And we can take few more items. So what I'm thinking is because those are the main ones. And the hammer, not sure if I should take the hammer as well. Maybe just a shovel. Yeah, I think I will take just a shovel. What is the difference? This is 50 slots and this is 25 slots. Hmm. I will take definitely the shovel. This is really useful thing. And then I think I will take... Maybe two of those gear ones. Because then I can have like two separate locations. I think that's kind of good idea. So I will take first one. And I have six left so we can take, yeah. Uh, not even sure. I mean, we do have some redstones, but... Yeah, I think I will leave it as it is, so a few coins as backup, just in case. I don't really want to lose them. Because yeah, if I need later on some more storage, I can just come and make some. Probably a lot easier than, well, kind of have the pain of having nothing until we get the steel redstones out later in the game. You said yeah, this season will be with the... 90 day meteor so it will be definitely quite long run and therefore I don't really think that there is a lot of rushing by anyone and therefore having like a few extra redstones would be very important yeah so we can easily go back I will get my big X ready but I should probably Think about the storage first, otherwise I will forget it. Yeah, no need to use the defaults. I really dislike the the stone big accent, all that. Just waste of time. We put it down here. I will put all the coins. I can't put because it's full of a lot of stuff. So they those out, this inside, yeah, it is what it is, so I probably need to start kind of digging a hole where I can get started this, it only has stacked size of two, ah, nice, that well, it was clay, <laughs> I'm just blind. It might be just because it's like 2 a.m. already for me, so my brain is way slower than usual. But yeah, anyway, I need to move those things a little bit around. Okay, so. so, of course, like last season, we can have the lucky break uh, with no skill. It's really good, easy starts, and it makes like life a lot easier. As we are here, then I probably need to also get the workbench ordered. Do some work. Campfire ordered. Work. And tool bench, I might need for when I'm starting to build the house. So I'll get it ordered at least. And then we need to 
grab a quick tray from above. Really nicely not accessible, so. so I will just put them up here. We'll collect them later for some other uses. And of course here. Yeah. The wall is again a little bit high, so I'll just make it more stepable variant. Yeah, a bit greens. Let's cut it down. Two, three, four, four hits. Not too bad. And yeah, we can use the wood pulp immediately to make some mortar and then turn it into mortar stone for our initial building. It, it came down quite a bit, so makes the log delivery much easier. And I like it this way. But yeah, there's a little bit lag at the moment as everyone is logging in for the first time and getting started. I'm expecting the performance to be as it is. Nothing too much. It's kind of good to be back in the new season. Yeah. Woods. And now we need way more rock as well, so. I will start digging myself into the into the rock face. You see, I'm planning to kind of do something similar to what Ragavan did last season, so the shop is kind of hidden away inside everything. I don't really believe that they can make exactly the same, but at least I'll try. And yeah, even I did last season a little bit digging into the wall or underground. Definitely not to the same level. So let's see what we can already get. So we have a few things ready. We can maybe set them up quickly. Put them on the bar so I can we black system. This is tool bench. This one can we guide like right here. And workbench. And yeah. I think we are kinda of ready with that. And yeah. We we'll need the masonry table. No. With masonry table, we will need to have the skill to do any mortar stone. Or at least get the Echo B support, which I have no intention to because we only have one star left after I pick the mining. And three days to wait for the basic engineering wouldn't make much sense either. So, so I have to make all the mortar stone here. But at least we have a start. I would probably need to get the store crafted. And I don't know. 200 mortar stone. Order immediately. They definitely need way more food and we hate tomatoes. Lovely. It's total opposite of real life, unfortunately. Real life, I do like tomatoes a lot. Use a little bit as the fuel. Place the mortar. We needed like 200 mortar. Yes. We need 1000 wood buff. <laughs> oh my. It's going to be a quite long process. Get everything done. We don't like fish either. Yeah, it makes a lot of sounds. Yeah, and I think that's likable. 
Yeah, hopefully with the tier 3 foods we can find something that we like. At the moment, let's get at least some rocks running so we can make the full front to our shop in here. I think maybe I forgot to take the tree stump away. Did I chop it down? Maybe I forgot it. I'll quickly check. Yes, I've been. Oh no, I did remove it, didn't I? At least I can't see it anyway. Yeah, sleepiness definitely makes me make more random movements. But yeah, so the initial plan is that I make wall right here and put the store behind it. I'll just grab this part as well. Yeah, the collection of rocks is much slower than usual. A slight delay. So we need definitely a hammer. Interesting, it's not. Ah, yeah, because we are making the store worse. Yeah, yeah. I was just thinking that it's not doing the rocks yet. It makes a lot of sense. So instead, we can then probably make a little bit more hole inside and have the space for all the store and hopefully in the future all the other tables like research. So I would probably need to get started with the research stuff so we can have the basic engineering soon. One rock hidden away. Yeah. A lot of digging for the season. Not sure if I really want to do the digging, but probably a good start for everything. But anyway, I will quickly try to get something running here, and then I will cut back to see how it's going. So I have finally made my mine for Iron Ore, and finished the building. It's a little bit patchy, but at least it works. So I used this research table to, well, craft a few papers. I did the geology basics, and also the metallurgy basics so I can go and sell them to the government so hopefully we can get really rich with that so, I mean it's 200 pounds good money but uh, I don't really have much other things done at the moment so I will probably just open the store and well, start ordering stuff this is definitely carpentry stuff that at those and right tables without those I can't start making roads or anything so we'll see how it goes I think uh, there are already players who have chosen the carpentry as their skill so shouldn't be too much trouble to get the, t uh, the tables but yeah once we have those then I will definitely start focusing on making more uh, of the roads and well get started with the crazy stuff see, uh, from last season I I remember quite well that we needed way too many of those and we have loading issues I know that the mass is kind of talking currently with the service provider to see if the performance can be enhanced in any way so if it can be, it would be very good. But otherwise, I totally understand that when many new players are logging in for the first time, then it's always quite bad performance, regardless how good the server itself is. But yeah, I mean... Okay. What did that fox just do? Yeah. This game is 
unique. They already had server crash because the one of Fox was in illegal position and one seems to do exactly the same. Yeah, definitely there are problems in game. I will sell those and those. 200 pounds. Yeah, at the moment we don't have basic engineering yet. Hopefully it comes soon. As such, maybe we can check what the table is doing here. Basic engineering is last in the list. And it needs dendrology advanced, so... Okay, the server is acting weird again. <laughs> anyway, I think I will leave the first episode right here. So, we kind of have established the beginnings of everything. And hopefully in the next episode we can well, already make the roads and get everything else done. So I will see you then. Bye.